Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, we have another Remet knife to check out. This one is the Rhino. Now we've had a few Remet knives on the channel and for the pretty much been pretty satisfied with what I've seen from them. And you know what? This one is no exception. This knife um, seems to be done pretty darn well. Fit and finish overall. As you can see, you've got this brown micarta. There's also a black and a green version. But now there's not a lot of texture on this micarta. A thumb slips a little bit, but it's pretty darn good as far as your grip goes. You do have a lanyard post. Yes, indeed. Kind of tucked in the backspacer there. Deep carry clip, recessed pocket clip screws. Those of you that have not gotten on the recessed pocket clip screw train yet, all aboard. Come on now. Um, that just, I don't know why that is not standard. Um, especially on, you know, these, a lot of budget, you know, the, the milled clips, okay, I get it. You know, th that's usually not a problem. But these deep carry clips like this, it, it shouldn't even, in my in my world, it shouldn't even be a question. They should all be recessed. But hey, that's just me. Um, centering on this thing, pretty darn good. And everything is chamfered off really nice. Give you a nice close-up look of it. And the one spot that I really kind of looked at is right here where the chamfering is along that screw. I mean, you can see, I can feel it just a little bit. But a lot of care. You know, that shows me that a lot of care was taken into putting this knife together. You do have just a slight bit of letterboxing going on on these scales. They do stand proud of the uh, the liners, I mean. They do stand proud of the scales just a tiny, tiny bit. But overall, fit and finish wise, uh, it's, it's really done pretty darn well. Nice pop of kind of that bronzish around the pivot collar. I like that. Now, when you want to talk about deployment options, yeah, this has got it. You can see there are dual thumb studs, front flipper. You even have a hole back here that you can reverse flick off of. We'll zoom out just a little bit. So, yeah, deployment options are are there. And for the for them and they're all pretty smooth. For me, I think it's best served on the thumb studs. The reverse flick, if I get it just right, I can snap it out there really well. You kind of I kind of have to get down, you know, into that portion right there. Dig it in, flip it out. Pretty darn nice. Now, the drop, it's not super drop shetty, but you get it open, push a button. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. And like I always say, you know, that super drop shut with the, it's pretty good on, or you know when we have a liner lock and it doesn't like super drop that gives my thumb you know, a little bit of a rest. You know, this one being a button lock. There you go. I did a... It just takes a little flip of the wrist and it comes shut. Now, like I always say, I don't alter these knives in any way, shape, or form before I show them to you. Um, I just use them. And then how they break in is how they break in. Could it use a little juice? Yeah, maybe we get a little slick them all or something like that on those bearings. It'd probably loosen right up and it'd probably be a lot more drop shutty but haven't done that yet now you guys know front flippers aren't necessarily my uh my jam we'll, we'll just say that but i mean it's pretty low profile i mean it's pretty it's a good what do we think let's just see here it's a good at least a quarter inch below the top of the knife and but it gives you plenty enough leverage to get it open so not bad not bad for a front flipper. Um, I'm okay with it. You know, some of these that... No. But, but all right. Let's get our spec check going here. Overall, what are we looking at? Whoop, zoom out a little more. And you're looking at about seven and a quarter. Fully open. You got about a four and a quarter inch handle. Three inch blade. Now your cutting edge does kind of come back here behind the handle as I measure. So you got a little bit more than a three inch cutting edge on it. So very nice. Now your choil is kind of, you really, 
don't have a choil, so to speak. And if you pull it out, your thumb studs, because that blade does come back so far, your thumb studs kind of are in the cutting path. If there was a choil cut out a little further, then those thumb studs wouldn't necessarily be in your cutting path. So that, you know, that's one of those things when you when you don't have a pronounced choil like that. And even if it was out here, even with the plunge, you'd still be hidden. You'd still have a little bit of cutting edge hidden behind that thumb stud. Wouldn't be as much, but it would still be there a little bit. So uh, grip length. Now, natural grip length is going to be about, because your pinky can land there, for me anyway, I have to say, pretty close to three and a half. And my pinky does lay right there, so I get a full four finger grip. Now, as you can see, it's I don't have any room left over. So those of you with larger hands, I mean, choking up a little bit, grip still feels good for me, but at that point, you don't really have anything protecting yourself uh, from the corner of that blade. So, But natural grip, the way that scale is milled out, it, it fits my hand really, really nicely. But let's get a couple of size comparisons in here for you. We'll get, of course, the PM2, which is going to be a fairly larger knife. A little more than a half inch on the blade. And Well, let's get it. It's right about a half inch on the blade and half to five eighths on the handle. And of course, the bug out. Bug out's going to be a much better size comparison. Bug out still even got it by a little bit on the blade. But trade off what the bug out has in blade, the Rhino has in handle for the most part. So kind of a trade off there. But a good size comparison overall. What do we got for a weight? 3.6 ounces. Not bad at all. Oh. Here we go. 103 grams for our good friends across the pond. Can't forget those guys. Come on now. Can't be doing that. In and out of the pocket. Not too bad. There, you do have a decent enough ramp. As you saw there, there was a little bit of a pop. Now, that's because it's got pretty darn good retention. Now, if you're on top of it, you know, actually putting it in your pocket, it's a little bit easier. You know, obviously doing it like this is not quite the way it would be if you were actually wearing the pants. And you do have just a tiny bit sticking out of your pocket. Overall thoughts on it, you know, fit and finish wise, it's really pretty darn good. I forgot to tell you, 14C on the blade steel. I did forget to tell you that. I think you might have saw that somewhere. Where did we see that? Did we see that somewhere? I thought so. Maybe not. All right. Maybe it's hidden. Is it one of those hidden ones? There it is. I knew it was on there somewhere. There it is. 14C. You guys know I'm definitely loving on the 14C. But, yeah, you know, fit and finish, pretty darn good. Ergos, for me, not bad at all. That clip, it's one of those immediate dive down clips. So, it everything hits me. I can feel this portion a little bit more than I want to. Not terrible, but I can feel it more. And this up here, not even an issue for me. But this down here... I can just feel it a little bit more than I want to. Hot spot, clamp down on it. Eh, not really. Not really enough that I would call it a hot spot. Just that I, I know it's there. See how it kind of extends past that crease in my hand? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But overall, ergonomics are pretty darn good. Action-wise, snaps out there on the thumb studs. Like I said... Does pretty good. That's more me than the knife, I think, with the reverse flip. But this is not the greatest. Now, like I said, as far as the drop, the button lock. Try not to push the button. Putting pressure on 
The blade, no, I'm not going to whack it on anything. Um, no issues there whatsoever. The front flipper, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of front flippers, but this one I think is done pretty well, in my opinion. For not being a big fan of them, I don't mind it, put it that way. So, a little shake shut, like I said, if we get some juice in there on those bearings, it'll probably come closed a little bit, but a nice little wrist flick, and it comes shut pretty easily. Overall, I think Remet has another pretty nice knife here. It's pretty darn, I can't find anything really overly negative to say about it. Pocket clip hits me just a little bit, nothing too major. The action as far as on the drop, you know, no stick, no stick whatsoever. No button, there is no stick on that button, which that pretty much impresses me. No stick. We had a conversation about this, you know, when we were eating dinner at a blade show about, you know, lock stick on a button lock. And, you know, I, I think it was Lefty that, you know, brought up a good point is his point was, you know, if it's got, if the more lock stick it has, the more secure the lock would seem to be in which I get that. I, I see where he's coming from on that. I know people don't want lock stick, but if you think about it from that aspect makes it kind of makes sense so you know whatever your thought is on that is all you know it's personal personal preference boils down to personal preference really but there is no stick on this one and it seems to be locked up pretty well in everything I do to test a button lock aside from whacking it on something is it's fine no issues whatsoever. So, thank you so much to Remet for sending this one out. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Guys, right now, they're on they're on sale on Amazon. Well, they're not on sale. They're for sale on Amazon for about 55 bucks For the materials you'll get in 14C button lock, I think that's a pretty nice price. But, there's also, right now, hopefully by the time you see this video, it'll still be there. But there is a 10% uh you know, click the little box for 10% off. There's one of those going too. So you get it for right about 50 bucks, which in my opinion for this knife, obviously I have a sample size of one. Okay. You got to remember that. Um, it's a pretty decent price in my book. So really appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the Remet Rhino uh, with me today. Thanks again to Remet for sending it out. As always, guys, like, subscribe, Leave me a comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.